showed up. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out! Is that it? Would you be interested in a gun? Can't do anything with that. Thank you. John, what do you want? That's it? You're just using them? Well, yeah. You've known me long enough. Don't forget to lock the door on your way out. <laughs> and don't tell my dad. Oh, no. I won't believe me. I wouldn't want to get on El Jefe's bad side at all. No one calls him that. Well, then you shouldn't tell my mom either. Are you kidding? She's been planning our wedding since I was 16. But seriously, I have a client for you. She said you've helped her once before. She's kind of a big fish. Big fish? Mm -hmm. I hope that means she'll pay. Fair enough. I'll give you a finder's fee. How about no finder's fee, but you start helping me with my nonprofit? Oh, wait. That is a very high finder, see? Come on, you never help me. Mm -hmm. Please. Okay. You win. But we'll talk about it later. Tengo un amigo que necesita tu ayuda. Está bien. Si lo traigo, ¿estamos a mano? Sí, Javier. Estamos a mano si lo traes. ¿Tiene varo? Está bien, Javier. ¿Está bien? Sí. Sí, Javier.
If you wouldn't mind waiting, like everyone else, please. Oh, what I have to say would only take a minute. Mr. Donald. Yes. Can I call you John? You can call me Alex. Yeah. Good. So, John, which side are you on? What? Are you one of the good guys? What I need is very simple, but I need someone I can trust. I was told that I could trust you. I need to know if I can trust you. Yeah. I need to open a trust fund. I need you to open a trust fund for me in Mexico. I'm sorry, I don't do trust funds and I cannot take your retainer money, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. This is simply for you to listen. I am willing to pay you good money for your time. Um. Okay, um, I'm listening. You see, John, I have not been a good father. And my situation is somewhat delicate, which is why I need you. And my son, the trust is for my son. OK. Um, Alex, right? Listen, I want to be honest with you. I. I would have to do a little bit of research. It's not my field, and I You're wouldn't want to tell you something man, that's just... John, and I'm sure this will be a very easy task for you. I can provide you with all the details you need. You can find me at the Stone Ridge Inn, room seven. What's all this ruckus? Highway 49. Just give me one second. Neighbors are complaining. I'm tired of your voicemail. Bob, just calm down, okay? Better tidy her up around here, you know? I've got some people coming over to look at the place, and you better take that note I left for you serious. Or one of these days, all of this stuff is going to be out in the street. You okay, hear me? Just listen. I, I've got your money right here, okay? Oh, really? No checks. No, Bob. Hi. We met when you were at Smith and Fielding. Nice oh. To see you again. Um, I thought it'd be best if I'd come in. Yeah. Mrs. Oh, I'm having a problem with some of my workers. Mexican? Uh, Miss Flemington yeah. owns a country club? Okay, yeah. <laughs> just um, tell Mrs. Fleming, Fleming? Uh, Flemington to um, show it. Just take it to the office. I I'll, I'll be just. Give me one second, Christina, please.
My friend stopped by your office, no? Is, is he dead? See, si, Javier. Yeah, he's dead, all right. Estamos a mano, vale? Sí, estamos a mano. What are you doing? You know what you look like. Someone who could use a hand. <laughs> or two. All these? Uh... Yeah. Don't tell me you were putting these in. No, I was... <laughs> That'd be a hoot, wouldn't it? If I came along and removed a whole bunch of boxes you had just put away. <laughs> of course. I knew you were picking up, because... I saw you come in not 10 minutes ago. There is no way you unloaded all these boxes and stacked them neatly in that unit in less than 10 minutes. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, that would be impossible, wouldn't it? <laughs> Deductive reasoning. That's what that is. Can't put anything past me. <laughs> is that a Schwinn? Um. My sister had a bicycle just like that when we were coming up. Yeah, I, I, I guess so. <laughs> I hear you. Tell you what. Soon as people find out you got a storage unit, before you know it, it's full of stuff belongs to everybody else. No room left for your own stuff, am I right? Uh, yeah. What in Sam hell? Now don't tell me you go wearing these around the house and nobody's looking. No. <laughs> Not that I'm judging. Listen, I, I got it from here. That's fine. You sure? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, well, looks like that's all of them. It is. Let me give you a hand there. Careful with the, yeah. Oh, sure, sure, I got it. I'm a pro. Where are we going here? Thanks, man. Forgetting something? Oh, it's been a long day. I hear you. All right. Thank you. Have a nice night. You too. I want to think about getting that tailgate replaced.
Ma. I had an important case to attend to. Do you want me to tell you what is important in life, son? I, I need to go. position where you are right now if you had come to me in the first place. Thank you. Come on. You know I didn't have anything to do with this. Whether you did or not makes no difference. I need a couple of days. A couple of days. A couple of days. What the fuck were you thinking? Getting into bed with those guys? They're gonna kill me, Fred. I have a friend at the U.S. Attorney's Office. Oh, no, no, no. What are you, crazy? I don't see any other way out of this, Mark. <laughs> I won't go to prison. Do you want to end up dead? Where's Deborah? She's in another room. Undergoing interrogation. Look, she doesn't know anything. She didn't know I was working with the cartel. Yeah. How about you just start at the beginning? And remember, one lie, one omission, the immunity deals off. Five years ago, they broke into our house and kidnapped my wife. Really? You're that hungry. You'll kill me for leftovers? No, but I'll kill you for breaking into my house. They told me if I disabled a camera at the border, they would return Deborah to me unharmed. It was easy after that first time. I disabled cameras. They left envelopes of cash in my mailbox. Things were going well. Uh, I felt safe. Like I could handle it. Pay was great. And I felt like we were safe. They didn't hurt me. They were actually uh, respectful. Call me Mrs. Hansen. <sighs> they told me they were grateful for what Mark had done. That because of Mark, they didn't have to kill anyone. They gave the money to me. I made Mark keep it.
got you out of the bed so early, mijo. What's in the bag? How did you make that money? I found it. You found it. How did I, you found it? It, it kind of found me. Here, read it. You know, there is no sun, right? All I know is that I have four more bags like this one in my truck. And this client of mine, who's dead, by the way, wants me to set up an account for his son, who's in Mexico. I need some time to get ready. It's me, John. But I'm with your dad. You sound just like him. Listen, I can't explain right now, but you have to lay low for a while, okay? We have a small business matter to take care of. Why does it always have to be a small business matter with you? John? Christina, I, I gotta go. Is that Henry's watch? Yep. I remember it. Oh, it's five minutes slow. <laughs> you know, I, uh, I, I drive by that big office of yours all the time. Seriously? Yeah. No, I mean, you do know I have my own practice, right? Effie, I told you before. Remember? My, my memory. <laughs> so, you keep sneaking people across the border, Mr. Coyote? Okay. Well, good for you then. You had to blaze your trail just like your father. Homeland Security cracking down. Cartel. Drugs. Uh, not enough of them. Now they have to buy and sell people. You, you help illegal people too, no? You are coyote too. But I'm a coyote in a land of wolves. Have you stopped to think how much good we could do with all this cash? That would be stealing. It'd help a lot of families find their loved ones. No good comes from stolen money. What if they don't claim it? You don't need greed. No, you don't get it. It's not for me. I just want to save people's lives. If your father saw me and you doing this, he will hire someone to shoot me. So my father never, ever crossed the law? Jefe. Your father was a good man. They never did wrong to anyone. Uh, 
All right, you stay here. I need 10,000. 10,000? Shit. Buenos días. Buenos días. El señor Gonzalo Montes. ¿Tienes tú una cita? No. Dígale que represento al señor Ricardo Hipólito. Toma asiento, señor. Señor Montes, oficial, no licenciado, Dano. Sí, representa al señor Hipólito. Mr. O'Donnell. Yes. Consolo Montes. Oh. But you don't look like a man I can trust. Do you think I can trust you? Yes, you can. But can we trust you? It's a lot of money. Follow me, please. You come back your truck up to here, and we will also take your deposit through here as well. All of the money through this door? Yes. All of the money through this door. Mexican government will retain 2%. We will charge an additional 5%. $910,000. That is why you were sent here. Sign this. These are your temporary ATM cards and your bank account numbers. The money will stay in a Mexican bank account for a mandatory three-day period. Then when we are ready, we will transfer the money to the Caribbean account. Perfect. Buena suerte. Gracias.
I think we're being watched. Of course we're being watched. I'm sorry I made you go through this. I guess we'll let it sit for a while, right? Oh, you'd be surprised how fast someone will be coming knocking at your door looking for that money. You'll know soon enough. You got a lot of explaining to do. Christina will find out soon enough. It better be coming from you. The good thing is, you're free to dream in a Mexican bank. You going somewhere? Damage control. I need another 10,000. Okay. Let's go then. They'd spot you a mile away, Corito. <sighs> yeah, but I'm not staying here. <laughs> they won't do business with a green girl. I am not a green girl. So? It's about time. We're good for now. For now? What does that mean? It means we can go home and nobody will fuck with us. For now. Now that's what you call caca. Before. I can't even... I thought you were hungry, that's why. Uh, no. Yeah, no. Stop it. Sean. Hey. I wanted to see you because I have something for you. Yeah. Thanks. All good? Man, so fucked up. I don't care about anything over there, man. I don't care about women. I don't care about children. I don't care about their borders, man. Their fucking money. It's so fucked up. I know. Man. This is all for you. Listen, Marta and the kids are the priority, okay? But I want you to use the rest of the money to get as many people as you can out of those hell homes. Got you. Have you had any interaction with a lawyer named John O'Donnell? I've never seen that guy before. You sure? Yeah. yeah. 
See now? Oh. Well. Where's Christina? How are the wedding plans coming along? Where is it? Where's what? Oh, <clears throat> stupid with me, Lick. Where is it? The money, John. We're here for the money. You do know where it is, don't you? And you are? There's a lot of money missing from our safe. And we have a good idea who has it. I'm listening. Anyone who steals from Pablo Obregón ends up dead. The reason why you're alive? Does Alejandro Spinoza ring a bell? About El Jefe. He's out of it. While you were traveling, it seems like he was delivering payroll to a few of our employees. I'm the only one responsible for the money. It's in a Mexican account and it hasn't been processed yet. Great. As long as you do as you're told, there's nothing to fear. I will be in touch. I made a big deposit for a client of mine who ended up dead. What are you talking about? And these two want the money back. But it's complicated. I just can't get the money back. How far are they willing to go to get it back? How far would you go to get back $11 million? $11 million? It's actually 13 but I only have 11 and change. I don't... What do you mean in change? Christina, it's complicated. I... John, you have to at least try to explain. John. John, what happened? I got under control, Mom. My client passed away, so I need to make sure the money goes to the right people, okay? The money? What man? You didn't tell me anything about money. And why do I have to go to Aunt Ella's house? She's crazy. Just go to her house for a couple of days until I call you, all right? Don't tell anyone you're going to be there. Don't call before you show up. Okay. And please, one very important thing. Do not forget to turn off your phone. Turn off my phone. Okay? Turn off my phone. I got it. John, I know what you're doing. I noticed that bruise on your head. Don't think I didn't notice it. Mom, I, I love you, Mom. All right? And the less you know, the better. What can I get for like a hundred bucks? Hundred bucks? We're talking about tattoos? You get something small like on your hand? We're talking about piercings? Maybe one or two of these guys? You know, for the right price, I can get you anything. Pablo Obregón? I need to talk to someone who works for him. We all work for him. I have something that belongs to Obregón. I think he might want to see me. 
Mr. Obregón. Come with me. They're ready for you. I think you and I both know that's a way bigger tattoo. Johnny, you know who I am? No. But I do know who you are. The money you stole belongs to a very powerful man. And he wants you dead. But I am here to help you. So all of this could be stopped right here, right now. What do you say? I'd say I'm sorry I'm only speaking to Pablo Obregón. You are only speaking to me. You just lost your 13 million. Thank you for your time. Listen to me. No, you listen to me. I'm not going to be the guy who gives the money to the wrong person and pisses off Pablo Obregón. You're not an undercover DEA agent, are you? No. That was it.
Would you like something to drink? Water, please. <sighs> Your father a heavy drinker? <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. <sighs> I am Pablo Burgan. Oh, um, John O'Donnell. Mr. John O'Donnell. Hmm. I'm curious, which kind of man are you? You see, some men, they respond to fear, and other men, they respond to trust. I think I respond better to trust. I prefer to rule with trust. It seems you're well suited. It seems. I do understand the necessity, however distasteful I find it, to sometimes resort to violence. So many respond to fear. And so you see, I have a need for men like De La Vega. Hmm. I rather deal with you. And so you shall. You have my money? Most of it, yes. Hmm. You spent some. I needed to grease some palms. Hmm. Wheels are greased, not palms. How much money is left? Eleven. <clears throat> hmm. Eleven million. Administrative costs are much more than we expect. You were taken advantage of. I thought the money belonged to my client. I... Have you ever read The Old Man in the Sea? Hemingway? Yes. <laughs> Anyway, when the old man catches the big fish, he takes it back to shore. And along the way, all the other little fish, they begin nibbling at the big fish's body. When he finally reaches shore, there's almost nothing left. All he has is the memory of the great fish that he caught, Mr. Aldano. Are you a little fish? No, I'm not. No, and yet you've cost me. Yes, sir, that's what I came here for. Can I trust you? I have found that the best way to find out if you can trust somebody is to trust them. Hemingway? Yes, Hemingway. <laughs> Tito! Ah. You will transfer the $11 million today. Actually, the amount won't be available until the account matures on Thursday. You will transfer the money on Thursday. But please, feel free to stay here as my guest until the transactions are complete. Thank you, but I'd rather go back to my place. Yeah, we've set you at a nice little room for you to stay. I really appreciate it. I, I'm going back to my oh, place. Oh, you will be very comfortable here. Mm. Tito. We'll show you to your room. Enjoy your stay. Good day.
Well done, Nell. Go on. Have a seat. Mr. Obregón has a great taste for beautiful women, such as Daniela. Daniela? Isn't she beautiful? Go. Now. <clears throat> you are a very curious man. You don't work for the DEA. You don't work for the CIA. You don't even dress nice. And yet, you have the balls to come and demand an audience with Mr. Pablo Obregón. And here you are. I've been studying you, and quite frankly, I can't figure that one out. Bravo. Bravo. I made a mistake, and I want to make it right. <laughs> I made a mistake, and I just want to make that right. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I really don't care what you believe. I got news for you. The only reason you are alive is because Obregón wants it that way. But once the situation changes, you want to be in my good side. OK? I want to make it right. I want to make it right. <laughs> You're funny. I saw yesterday coming up the stairs. A man and a woman. Who are they?
Attractive. She's an attractive woman. Mm. And yet you do not take advantage. It's not uncommon for a man in a stressful situation to exert control over someone who is weaker and unable to defend herself. Huh. I treat my people well. Protect them. They are loyal. Now, if you had forced yourself on Daniela, you would have had to speak to De La Vega. But you have treated my people with respect. And I'm inclined to extend that respect back to you. I've also been informed that the $11 million has been successfully transferred. Yes. It appears I can trust you. You see, a man, he can take anything, anything, and make it into something. I look at you and I think, what can I use you for? And then there's the remaining $2 million. Your connections in Atlanta. Well, there's a number of services you could provide. My business is small. Ah, oh, well, small is good. Small is unnoticed. And you're in my debt. I just need some time. Ah, but time. Time. Time is money, is it not? <sighs> and you will pay me my money. Don't worry. You can be sure of that. And once we establish a mutual respect for work, huh, we will receive handsome bonuses. I appreciate your offer, but um, I just think trust I'm, uh... or fear. The choice is yours. Ah, so pretty, so quiet. No one can hear a thing. Trust it is. What? Where did you get that shirt? <laughs> Why aren't you dead? What were you going to do with all the money? How did you know about the money? It's always about the money. It's always about the money. You know, if you do good work, he'll help you. Yeah. You just have to sell your soul. <laughs> <laughs> So now you're on good terms with the murderer. I think he's gonna keep his word. Yes. Besides, I will never let him hurt you. It's not even hurt me, John. Can you see that? Christina. John. I... I'd like very much for you to leave. Now, please. How can someone who embodies everything I want, how can that same person represent everything I hate? God, I've been running from this my whole life. We're tainted now, I can't get back from this. I want you to know that I don't blame you for my dad. So don't blame yourself. I want all the good things for you, John. I just can't be one of them. Please just leave. Oh, 
John O'Donnell? Yes, how can I help you? Michael Blair with the Drug Enforcement Administration. I'd, I'd like a moment of your time. I'm sorry, I don't have much time, but... Um... You recently made a trip to Mexico. I need you to tell me about your business there. That was a personal trip, why? Aha, personal trip. So on this personal trip, you just happened to open up a bank account with several million dollars? I have a statement from the bank manager. He selected your photo out of a lineup. And on top of all that, you actually left your business card. You are a, you're a terrible criminal. I'm not a criminal. That is to be seen. We have Pablo Obregón in custody. Someone very high up in his administration has come forward and he is going to spend the rest of his life in prison. So we intend to bring everyone who works for him upon charges. Everyone works for Pablo Obregón. And you find that funny? Actually, I don't. Not in the least. Mr. O'Donnell, we know you laundered money for Obregón. We just don't know why. Why he would want you to do it or why you would even do it. But it is very clear you have no idea what you're doing. In fact, your botched laundering job gave us the last piece of evidence we needed to extradite Obregon. So when he goes down, you will go down with him. You tell us everything you know, and I might be able to get you full immunity. Think about it, but it wouldn't take too long. Welcome home, coyotes come. Walk. Keep going. Been a real pain in the ass lately. Now you flatter me. Do you know who we are? You're the guys that sell produce from door to door. <laughs> Do you know who I am? Cesar. Would you like a slice of uh, orange? Uh, no, thank you. OK. Mm. You know, my mother called me Cesar. I know she did. And your father called your pastor. <laughs> Hijo de la verga. <laughs> <laughs> How's your mother? The last time I saw her, she was too tired fucking me. Oh, my mom, well, <laughs> whatever. Listen, I assume you know why we're here, don't you? I do not. No, you don't. Well, I'm going to tell you. I'm here to send a message to your boy, Johnny. My boy? Yeah, John. John O'Donnell? Hmm? You have to deliver it yourself. Oh, I intend to do so. Hey. Hmm. Oh, yeah. How's that feel? <laughs> Ooh, the intense heat, huh? Oh, I'm going to enjoy so much cutting you apart, piece by piece. Can I have a slice of that orange now? Yeah. Oh, let's see here. There you go. All oh, right. I know who you are. I know very well who you are. I knew your mother before you were born. She is a beautiful woman. I mean, I haven't seen her in years, but hmm, back then she was something. I found her inside an abandoned truck. A bunch of workers. God knows where they were from, at least a half a dozen. She was already bleeding. I fired a few shots, but it wasn't until I started shooting them that they, they let her be. 
I don't think he ever came over that. You popped out seven months after that day. So yes, I know exactly who you was, is I? And the sad thing is, you will never know who you really are. <laughs> I know exactly who I am. Fuck you, puto. Diego. Run. It's about time. No se llama Carlo. No necesito. Don't worry. I got you. You're thought to be ashamed of your own country. You can take the child out of the country, but you can't take the country out of the child. You Marta? Everything's gonna be fine, okay? We just need some cash. I sent all I have to her. I know, I know. Listen, don't worry about it right now, okay? I promise I'll do everything in my power to find them. Let's go. The judge is on our side. All they care about is cartel's dope. There's a truck that was left in the middle of the desert. Women, kids. There's a guy that says, it's a woman that matches my description. Can you trust this guy? I don't know. This is all I have right now. It's not much. I know. I'll try to figure something out. Just don't lose their trail, okay? the boys. It wasn't them. You got them? I've been looking all over. How are they? I hate those scumbags. I'll keep looking. Who is this? I told you we'll be in touch. You like little Miss Delgado sucking on your cock? I thought so. From now on, you're gonna have to earn it. And don't disappoint me. Because if you do, some other guy's gonna have to put his big fat cock in little Miss Delgado's fragile ass. Do I have your attention? You have my attention. Listen to me. John. I gotta go. Hey, okay. Here. Just wait here for the
Lick, take it easy, man. I don't know where she is. I'm not taking it easy. Lick. Where is she? I don't know, man. I'm fucking high. Ah! Where the fuck is she? Fuck, man. Why'd you shoot me? Fuck. Take me to her. I don't know where she is. You do know. I don't know. Take me to her. I'll blow your fucking brains out. Move. Fuck. Fuck. You fucking set me up. You set me up, girl. Open it. You're gonna dry. John, you grew some balls. I wish you would have stayed put like I asked you to. I can't give her up now. How does it feel to know that you can put Pablo over there away for the rest of his life? Can we talk? You want me to testify against Pablo Obregón? Is that what you want? I see we're finally understanding each other. So what about De La Vega? De La Vega is at the tailor measuring a jefe. And not precisely for your wedding. Be careful. I don't think you can trust a man that has nothing to lose. Whatever, John, put it down. Put it down. Put it down. I smell a rat. Oh, John. I want a signed immunity agreement with no obligation to testify. You're in no position to... The only thing you have on me is a wire transfer. And you know I could claim it was made in an official nature on behalf of my client. As much as I know that you'd like to prosecute an attorney, we both know that's not going to happen. Now you want my side of the story? I need immunity with no obligation to testify. In writing. And just to be on the safe side, a waiver covering tax evasion. Miranda, draw up an immunity agreement for Mr. O'Donnell, please. 
Everything you tell us must be the truth. One lie or omission, and the whole deal is off. We prosecute to the full extent of the law. Do you understand? Of course I do. Miranda, that's him, Alejandro Espinosa. That is Ricardo Hippolito, Abregan's chief accountant. You're sure this is the guy? Without question, I saw him. He was dead. It was a fake suicide. We need Abregan to believe he was dead in order to testify. Javier Montenegro was supposed to find him. Oh, fuck, Daryl, now we've got nothing. The defense will tear us apart in court. Does he know about the money transfer? Asshole's been locked up in protective custody. He hasn't even seen a newspaper. So he thinks there's $13 million waiting for him in an offshore account? We should have known. Motherfucker just lost his immunity deal. What do we have on him? Conspiracy to traffic drugs. Conspiracy to bribe federal officials. Accessory to murder, accessory to kidnapping. The list is long. Well, whoever the fuck he is, he's going to prison. What about Obregón? Obregón? He's going back to Mexico. Fuck. Is there anything else you want to tell me, Hanson? No, that's it. When you wake up and see money, the rules change. When you watch how people become what's called exchange, then you help what is right and throw into the wind what must not be here. Here we go again.
say love is blind Trust should be freely given Fate opened up my eyes I showed my honor betrayed by lies But who in the world Can I see to believe in They say that faith is earned I've paid that cost and lost in longing Trust required such a price Froze my passions into ice For who in the world Can I believe to give my heart to Who I have for tuna They say you dance upon your fire.